What's happening, people? Dan Lawless here, West Ham Fan TV, giving you my instant match reaction to Southampton nil, West Ham 1. That's it. We've won another game. We've won another game. It's a weird feeling, a very weird feeling. Is This was the game they said that if we lost, Pellegrini would get the sack. And a lot of us, I mean, I didn't want to see us lose. I never want to see us lose. But a lot of people want to see Pellegrini get sacked. Now we've won. It's a, it's a weird mixed feeling for a lot of fans. I mean, look, I'm buzzing for for the win we had to win we had to get away from that relegation zone no one will see us go down and every single point we get or and every single win pushes us further and further away from that um so yeah i'm I'm happy for that but yeah it looks like pellegrini's here for a, for a little while longer uh he changed things up it was very interesting i see the lineup and I see people talking about 4 4 2. I thought, nah, he's, he's not going to play 4 4 2, surely. You look at that and you, you'd think, obviously, Anderson's come out of the team and you'd think, yeah, they'll, they'll, put, they'll just put Antonio in the Anderson role, just put him there, you know, and um, or like put him on the wing or either wing and have Fornells in the middle, maybe, or Snodgrass in the middle. Um, and he did it. He did it. So you've got to give him some credit, but why didn't he do it earlier? Why didn't he do that against Arsenal? Should have done it against Arsenal, but he did it today and it worked. It definitely worked. Alé scored. He got his goal for the first time in ages, which, which you know, it just goes to show you, you know, play someone up front with him. That's how he works. You know, I mean, the the, the goal came from Antonio, you know, passed to Antonio, then Snodgrass, I think it was then for now, was on to Alé and Alé finishes it nicely and... Um, yeah, he had a, he had a, a few more opportunities there, and um, we was unlucky really not to get a penalty as well. Both of them got fouled at the same time. VR looked at it, didn't give it, but I thought that was harsh. Um, but yeah, I mean, Antonio was unbelievable, Des deservedly man of the match, run all over the place. I mean, I've been saying all season how important he is to us. Um, Arsenal game, he didn't look really fully fit. He didn't really look at, uh, like he was at the races, but today. He was, uh, as he would say, beast mode today. Um, and, yeah, it was really, really, you know, really good to see him, see him up and running. And, uh, you know, clean sheet is important. We was at, the, as by the second half, though, towards the end, we clung on. We really narrowly escaped with, him, with, that, with, the, with the three points in the end because, I mean, Danny Ings, I think it was Danny Ings, had a worldie, like, that was ruled out, which I don't understand why that was ruled out. Of foul. I, I, I think that should have been a goal, to be honest with you. He also had one off the crossbar, um, and and they was really piling on the pressure. So for us to come out with three points in that situation is good. But, yeah, still not, you know, pulling up trees. And, you know, there's still some, some issues there, but it's a move in the right direction. Um, still, I'm still not think I still don't think Pellegrini is the man for us. Um, but he's, he looks like he's here for another few more games regardless, you know, so, it, you know, it is what it is. David Martin looks like he picked up an injury towards the end. We've got 12 days off, so hopefully that's um, enough time for him to just be back to back to his best, back to fitness, because we can't be going back to Roberto, no chance. Although I'm, I'm hearing Fabianski is supposed to be back in time for the Crystal Palace game, but I don't want to have to rush him back at all. So um, we'll see about that. Um, ultimately, yeah, I mean, it was good. I mean, he, he, Pellegrini pulled off some serious, put on some defensive substitution. The end, he took off Alaire and brought on, I think it was Sanchez, yeah, which was it raised my eyebrows. Um, I would have liked to have gone for another goal, but I think at the moment it's just about three points, just snatching them and holding on. But sometimes that backfires. Um, and then brought on Diop as well. So he really went all out defensive and. In the end, look, we managed to get away with the three points, so it paid off. If we didn't get the win, then it would have come back to bite him. So, yeah, it's one of them ones. Um, but, yeah, ultimately, look, three points. Nicky's out there. Good birthday present for him. And, you know, all the other travelling fans, nice for them to, to, to go and see us win. You know, it's been seems like it's been so rare lately that we've won. Um, so, yeah, you've got to be happy and... Um, yeah, just the other side of it is Pellegrini's here for a little bit longer. You know, it's let's see, like, if he sticks with this two up top, what we can do with it, you know, what how, how we can play and how we do against Palace with that. And if it is the, the you know, the missing piece. But, um, yeah, I still think we need to be looking elsewhere in terms of managers. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. 
like 12 days off now football um which is nice you never want to have a big long time off when there's like after you've lost so yeah that's always nice i do think january we need to look for another um pacey player we need more pace in this side we need another player like antonio we know about his fitness record he, he can get injured at any time so we need someone to fill in with in that position and, and be able to play up top with valet that's what we need to look more than the keeper in my opinion um let me know what your guys opinions are in the comments down below and uh look out for the fan cams one thing left to say come on you irons <laughs>